Hi Merkin, I'm home. What has been going on here? I'm going to pretend I didn't see this. Right, where we last left the action, I just collected my fifth item and I was heading off, oh yes, um, levitating a few cows to get the leather and after I'd got that I was going to go off and find some sugar cane because the leather was needed for making bookshelves and the bookshelves were needed for making a lectern. So here I go back towards that jungle. Yes definitely a lot of backwards and forwards going on in this run. I've already been that way once. I've already been to that village where I started twice now. Okay popping back down to the ground and can I find some sugar cane? Yes, I had already seen some. I should have picked this up when I was over here because I, I was virtually here when I went to that uh, jungle temple a few min minutes ago. So have I got enough yet? No, I haven't. How much do you need? You need nine pieces of paper, don't you? To make a bookshelves. You need three pieces of leather, nine pieces of paper, six planks, and I need some more wood to make these slabs that you use to to make a lectern out of it. Okay, doing a bit of running on foot. Don't know why. Surely I've seen what from from above. That would be the best place to to be looking for the sugar cane that I need. Look, I can see some down by a tree. There we go, where I'm pointing now. Okay, this should be enough. I was only one short, I think, so I've got 15 now. Plenty enough. Do my familiar trick. As the sun begins to set, I'm hopping up onto a treetop to do a bit more crafting and tidying up of inventory. There you go. That's all you need and some more. No, come on. You can craft more efficiently than that. Three books. Turn it into a bookshelf. Make some of the Planks into there you go there there I'm 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 even faster at doing it than I am at explaining it. I suppose the action is slightly speeded up, isn't it? This is about one and a quarter speed, did I say? Right now. Not the best time for it, but it's going to lend a little more excitement to the proceedings. I'm now after the rest of the uh, Azure Bluets that I'm supposed to be collecting. And I'm doing it at night, which gives me a chance to test out throwing slowness down there. And the slowness eats all of the arrows. Mind you, I'm walking through it. I walked right the way through and came out the other side. I guess it probably disappeared as well. But I was fairly fast getting away, so that didn't really cause me any damage. 
Right. I'm already being attacked by another one as I try to get these. <laughs> I'm just trying to dodge this one. Run round in circles. Ouch. Took that one in the face. The horse took one for me. That's a bit unfair, isn't it? Definitely took a bit more damage that time. Down to almost half health. And... Okay, up in the air for a bit of a breather, but I'm looking for more of the Azure Bluets. Here we go. Okay. Diving in and around, escape into the sea whenever things get a little bit too exciting. I can keep them pinned down with the slowness and I can grab grab the, the flowers. But look, you've got these nasty little mites that come after you now. They're not really that much of a problem, but they just interrupt. Oh god! Uh, a baby zombie on the back of a chicken swimming after me. He's never going to catch me. Right. So, on with the the flower hunting, flower collecting. At night, surrounded by the enemy. Right. Okay. It's working fairly well, isn't it? Ouch! <laughs> I said that a moment too soon. Getting shot. I suppose I didn't try to turn round and shoot slowness at that skeleton. Here we go, more flowers over here. There's a skeleton already waiting for me. The healing spell has come in very handy. Now that I liked. I was very pleased with the way that one went. Shoot slowness down. The skeleton can't shoot you with its arrows. They just get swallowed up in the slowness and you thump him to death with the trident. Can we do anything as good as that again? How is the hunting going, by the way? How many flowers have I got now? I'm trying to get 32. Right, look around. Grab my breath. Catch my breath, that's the word for it. Right, there's more skeletons waiting for me, and I can see some creepers. Grab a bit. Uh, ouch! Someone shot me while I wasn't paying attention, but no, no real harm done. Okay, float down here using the slowness. Slowness is really being useful to me this time. Now you can heal yourself up. You can eat as well. Ah, I didn't need to use healing. Right. We fly. And these white dots look like they might be useful as well. There's one, two, three in amongst there. That's pretty good. Oh, there's lots of skeletons. Ah, managed to get the uh, slowness down just before he shot at me. He did shoot at me afterwards, but there's always the thing with this technique of moving out of the way of the slowness out of the zone of effect. Okay, 22 collected, 10 to go. It's a very long hunting experience, especially when you take it on at night with all the enemies around. So I'm having a calm time. Just sit there and and salt infantry on the tree. Oh, this is a good good one. Not really any mobs 
coming for me as I as I grabbed four more. So should be six needed now. Uh, what what should I do? Oh, I throw down slowness and body swerve around that zombie, but I only got one more. <laughs> the pigs are actually in the way now. Two more there. Now, is it only one left that I need to get? Yes, yeah, 31, and it's going to be the end of my flower hunt. There, done it. Right, well, it was more exciting than a walk in the park, wasn't it? So, I believe I've got to get down underground now because um, I need to get some deep slate and some tough. I think I probably... Hmm. No, I've forgotten if there is any, any more than that. Did I look right at that Enderman then? Ah. Actually, what I've seen is a ruined portal. I can never resist a ruined portal. And I think what's on my mind is the gold block. If I take that, then that will allow me to, to do some healing wings flying. But having done that, I think I then pretty much forget all about it. <laughs> well, it's, it's one of those things where... Oh, what, what is going on? <laughs> okay, there's nothing very useful in this chest. I really need to get underground, and that's the... Oh, look at that. There's about 32 azure bluets all in a bunch on this hillside. If I'd come here, if I'd only known that this place existed, I could have come here and not had to do all of the... The collecting at night running in and out of the mobs but then again that's what i wanted to do this week i wanted to uh practice using slowness and trident right let's let's do a bit more practice of slowness and trident that's working very nicely isn't it got down there oh a bit of revealing to see where I'm going, but also showed up that creeper that was waiting for me just up there. Now this doesn't seem to go very deep. I want to go much deeper to get down to where the deep slate and I'm not quite sure about tough. I'm looking around everywhere, but I can't quite remember where you find tough. It's usually one of those things where if you're digging straight down, you'll just run through a bunch of it. But um, I haven't seen any of it this week and I need a piece, just one piece. Um, notice how, how I dealt with that uh, creeper just then. I, I like doing that. Yeah, when I've got levitation on me, just lift them up and let them drop. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting myself kind of in a, a tangled space here. Okay, is this any use, this, this little cave? Does it go deep? No, it doesn't, does it? That really doesn't go anywhere. So that was a bit of a waste of time. Now, I'm beginning to feel that I've been in this cave or this... Yeah, is it a cave? Yeah, <laughs> a bit too long. And I want to go downwards. I wonder if that cave entrance up here... Does this lead down anywhere? Always use your revealing. See if there's a bad guy waiting for you around the corner. You ever seen that before? As I ran across the top of that lantern, it seemed to speed me up. I don't know what that's about. Right. Okay, I've had enough. I'm just going to dig down to an, another 30-odd blocks straight downwards and see if I run through tough and, and when I get to the... Uh, deep slate because I can there we go light light things up a bit oh there seems to be a cave over there maybe it's worth breaking through that way but no I'm still on my way downwards there's the deep slate a uh, bit of a boo-boo 
<laughs> bit of a mistake I'm making here. I'm I'm digging the deep slate up with my silk touch pick, and of course that uh, that leak gives it to you as the wrong type of deep slate. It actually as the original deep slate rock. Now I've got to make it out of cobbled deep slate slabs, and I haven't got cobbled, <laughs> so I'm putting them back and mining them. So a little bit of time wasted. There's the cobbled deep slate. Make them into slabs, put them on top of each other, and you've got the chiseled deep slate. And my inventory is horribly full. <laughs> I just need to throw things away. So I think I will stop at this moment and and clear it out. Look, I can't even pick up my workbench. Right, throw. Now's the moment to throw all the junk down that hole over there until you begin to see the glorious spaces opening up in my inventory. Ah, look at that gold that I'm carrying. Carrying gold and I haven't had the opportunity to do any healing wings flying. Right, carry on downwards. Got to find a cave or something, haven't you? Don't go straight through the discard pile. Don't go near that. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing where that skeleton is running around over there. So if I dig towards him, there there should at least be some sort of a cave. It might be small, but if I feel as though if I'm out in a cave, I've got more chance of seeing some tough. Because it is just literally the last item now I'm after. I'm after one piece of tough. Come on, Skelly. Yeah, there's blood. There's there's obviously some cave. Oh, I saw a, a glow squid probably down there as well. That's um not what I was expecting. Means there must be water running down into the cave somewhere. I think I've broken through now. Here we are, and it's one of those enormous caverns. Great. That's a. And here is the water right by me. The water that's that the squids evidently come down on. I'm trying to light the place up. Whoa! That was a creeper just flew by. By you don't often see that, do you? Flying creepers. He evidently jumped to try to get down to me, but just went straight on by. Now he can't get back up to me. But I don't really want to go out there yet until I know where I'm going, because if I just go out there and get killed... Okay, using the uh, exploding trident, I'd virtually forgotten that it, that it did explosive. Right, float up into the air and try looking around while you're floating to see if there's any stuff. I honestly can't see any over here. I can't see any in, in the entire cavern, but there might be some here. I just, it's its very difficult to spot things while you're in mid-air. And tough doesn't look that different to a lot of the other rocks when you're, when you're just catching a, a, a fleeting glimpse of it. Right, okay, well, there's a skeleton over here. If I if I go over this way, then I'm evidently going to come into contact with him. Am I? Oh, there he is, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hit him with slowness, hit him with the trident. There you go. I like that. I'm going to use that more and more. Although it does mean I'll, I'll have to take slowness with me a lot more often if I'm going to do that all the time. And I do like slowness, but I don't want to always take the same spells with me every time. For me, it's that variety is the spice of life. I've got to be chopping and changing all the time. Right, I really can't see anything. I can't see any tough in this whole vast cavern. So... I think, is it worth just flying down and trying to see if the, the cavern goes deeper? 
better get moving. Right. Uh, here is the moment where I think I could have used Healing Wings Flight, couldn't I? But I forgot, and I just glided instead. Let's go down here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Whoa, where's it taken me? And that, that looks like tough, just opposite me. Look, look. Can I get there without being killed horribly? Ah, creeper behind me. My hair stood on end. Wow, I can't tell you how much my hair stood on end. 52 minutes, 58 seconds. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back next week. Bye-bye.